Piers Morgan branded Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Remembrance Day pictures in the US a distasteful PR stunt on Good Morning Britain last year. On Sunday, members of the royal family will pay their respects to Britain's fallen soldiers at the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. The Queen's attendance at the annual event had been uncertain in the wake of her recent health scare. However, Buckingham Palace confirmed in an official statement yesterday that the Queen will attend this year's wreath-laying service. The Palace noted that Her Majesty will, as has been the case for years, view the service from the balcony of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office building. Last year's Remembrance Day ceremony did include some notable absentees, such as the Queen's son Prince Andrew, who missed the service after stepping back from royal duties. Harry and Meghan were also absent in the wake of the couple having quit the royal family earlier that year. The Duke of Sussex, who served in the army for 10 years and undertook two Afghanistan tours, marked Remembrance Sunday in California. Harry and Meghan visited the Los Angeles National Cemetery, where they left flowers on the grave site of two Commonwealth soldiers and placed a wreath at an obelisk. Mr. Morgan unleashed a furious tirade at the couple on ITV's Good Morning Britain after they published pictures of their time at the cemetery on social media and made them available to media outlets. Mr. Morgan said, what they then do, they go to a military cemetery in Los Angeles and they then invite a photographer, one of their preferred photographers. Remember they're very privacy-minded, these two, they don't like the press, they don't like photography, unless they're controlling it. And they then release a series of images of themselves at a cemetery, laying flowers, and a wreath and paying tribute. Now, Prince Harry is perfectly entitled as a former member of the armed forces to pay tribute to the armed forces, of course he is. He added, however this smacked to me as a really distasteful PR stunt designed to say to the palace, you might try and stop me having my right to have a livery servant lay my wreath, but you're not going to stop me grabbing the PR headlines. And I'm sorry, that sticks in my gullet, this guy is doing no duty, it was reported last year that the Duke of Sussex made a personal request for a wreath to be laid on his behalf at the service in London. Allegedly, Buckingham Palace denied Harry's request, Mr. Morgan's co-anchor at the time Susanna Reid was quick to jump to the defense of the Sussexes.